Hey guys, Ace here. Um, I got some Battlefield 4 uh, news for you. They've pretty much they've uh, they've seen your feedback. Uh, they've seen the feedback from the community uh, from the Battlefield 4 beta, and uh, they've released uh, this article on uh, Battlefield.com. I'll I'll put the link in the description where you can check it out. It's about uh, probably two or three pages um, worth of notes. And, uh, you know, they've addressed a lot of the problems that were in the Battlefield 4 beta. So, by the time uh, the full game comes out, which is about two weeks from now, I don't know, it's 18th today, it comes out the 20... Uh, was it 31st or 29th? Something like that. can't remember. But, um, oh, uh, they've addressed a lot of the problems. Um, so, what they've got here is they've, you know, they've addressed um, the low frame rate and the stuttering for PC players, which is what I had. I had such a low frame rate I could only just record like I was recording at 30 frames and I was probably getting like um, 60 or something which is like and I wasn't getting 60 all the time like I was just and this was on low I was getting like 50 45 to 60 frames and it was just moving around which was which sucked Um, so they're gonna fix that problem uh, by the time the full game comes out uh, another problem they had, well, we all had, was uh, stuck on the loading screens, uh, which was mainly for like the PC players. Um, they, they released a, a, a few patches uh, during the beta, but I don't think that helped a whole lot. It, it helped some people, but not a lot. So they'll, they'll, um, this says here, you know, they're, they're working around the clock uh, to fix it. So uh, another one was the high CPU usage for the beta. Um, so the usage for like dual core, quad and six core would like skyrocket sometimes, and uh, you know they've op they're optimizing it and change and making it making the performance better. So uh, um, so yeah, you know uh, it's gonna be it'll be good by the time the full game comes out. Now I've got some Xbox and PS3 news. Uh, one of them is the controller layout. So. It says here we've increased the available uh, controller options in Battlefield 4, uh, including new controller layouts and multiple alternatives that we hope will make you feel right at home. Um, another thing was empty server listings, which I don't I don't know about. I don't play on uh, 360 anymore. But um, it says while in the server browsing, you may have seen lists of em empty servers. Um, you'll be able to find popular servers that you can join. You can also quick match function to quickly get into the action. Uh, another thing uh, they've they've patched is the elevator catapult which was in all platforms and I am disappointed. Uh, that was so much fun just getting in an LAV and just and pretty much just falling from the sky like A team style like in a tank and stuff it was it was yeah that, it was, that was awesome <laughs> that was awesome. Um, so they got the gameplay uh, gameplay balances here uh, it's mainly infantry, but what some of the things they've done is, uh, let's see, uh, the sound and camera impact effects that had too long to cool down between hits. This should improve. What was this talking about? Oh, the um, oh yeah. Sometimes when you get shot, like in the head, you only hear like a a, a sound a split second before uh, you die. It'd be like 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 a click, and then you're dead. And it's like it's like the fuck. I didn't hear anything. So they've changed the sound in that. Um, and it says here this should improve the responsiveness of being killed and taking damage. They've also reduced the fire rate of the AK-12 by 25%. So it's going from a thousand rounds to 750 rounds. Um, they've tweaked the compensator and, and the muzzle brake, so they're properly firing, uh, pro properly firing less accurate at, at automatic fire. Um, they've reduced and rebalanced fully auto accuracy based on rate of fire for all automatic weapons to balance low um, rate of fire weapons. Uh, they've increased the default throw distance of portable uh, ammo and med packs, which is good. Uh, portable ammo packs now reload two magazines instead of one and up to a total of four magazines for, uh, per pack, which is awesome. Um, However, this, uh, however, for the uh, grenades and RPGs and explosives, um, do not benefit from the instant reload function of the ammo pack. Another thing they have is 
increase the muzzle flash of 25mm and 40mm launchers to make their threat position more visible um, which is which is good you know it helps a lot with the situational awareness uh, fix issue with stabbing someone and you'd be just stabbing the air and then they'd, they'd be like five meters away and they die so they've they've fixed that uh, the revive time has been changed from seven seconds to ten which is good uh, fix some dis uh, descriptions of weapons for vehicles that were in incorrectly described that incorrectly described the function of the weapon uh, increase the weapon uh, the damage of the stinger f to a three hit kill it was 25 percent now it's 35 uh, percent which is good uh, increased the speed of tau missiles tau tow tow whatever uh, they've been cr increased the speed of them by 25 percent from 50 meters to uh, 75 meters a second so they can catch up the qu uh, faster vehicles like quad bike don't know why you'd bother using one on a quad bike but whatever um, what's this da -da 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 -da. reduce the damage main gun on the IFVs against uh, other armor do to, hi uh, to highlight their uh, their anti uh, uh, infantry role which was yeah they were really effective against armor which was kind of crazy um, now this one's this was a a big uh, big uh, issue with the beta. Now it's locking um, onto weapons, uh, lock uh, weapons locking onto vehicles like the RPG and the small. That that is no longer um, in Battlefield 4. Um, they said here that as I quote, what is they quote, whatever quote, it was inauthentic and not balanced, which is true. You know I absolutely loved getting you know, like, multi-kills uh, against, a, um, you know, like, Hueys and stuff like that with an RPG. That was that was awesome. Um, but, yeah, uh, another thing they fixed is um, is the lock-on. So, sometimes when you're being in a attack helicopter, you, get, you hear this, like, this straight, like, this sound, like a, yeah. Um, and you're like, oh, okay, um, I'm getting locked on, but nothing's firing because it's not beeping. And all of a sudden you die, it's like, the fuck? So they fixed that, which is really good. Uh, what's this? All laser designated missiles now do a maximum of 90% to d uh, damage to attack and scout helicopters. Okay, um, down from 100%, so they'll get pretty much disabled and stuff like that. This is done to give helicopters a chance to use their fire extinguisher countermeasure. Oh yeah, that's that's a good point because you know that pretty much at a 100% damage, it would pretty much render it useless. Uh, general changes. The kill string in the score log now appears sooner, uh, making the UI, uh, UI more responsive to kill event. Thank God! Because in Battlefield 3, it was terrible. They might be like, Oh! I just got a quad! Yeah! I'm like, oh, cool! Watch as the kill feed. Oh, wait. And five minutes later, it's like comes up like if he's in my squad like all green in the kill feed. I'm like, whoa, you just get a moldy? It's like, yeah, that was like five minutes ago, bro. I'm like, oh shit. And so yeah, I'm I'm glad they fixed that. It's also funny because sometimes I like you, you know you flank around Metro and they're all behind this a uh, wall, and I'm got like the M240. And I'm like, watch the kill feed, watch the kill feed, watch the kill feed. And I'm just shooting all these people, and like yeah, nothing's coming up. I'm like shit. We also we we did that like all the time in like Call of Duty where, where, when we, when like there's like so many people and we'd get the drop on them. It was like watch the kill feed, but yeah, I'm glad they've I'm glad they fixed that. Um, uh, PC specific changes fixed a string in on foot PC key bindings. Uh, there's a problem with the crouch and the prone uh, toggling and things like that. So um. So yeah, this uh, this is really good. Uh, they've definitely listened to community. This is they're addressing some of the major issues. Uh, it's the 18th today, and this was brought out the 16th. So I'll try and upload this tonight. Um, it, this is the uh, what is this in America? I think we're a day in front of America. So yeah. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, this has been my longest commentary so far. We're almost about to hit 10 minutes here. And this is, it's my first time commentating and it's fucking, it's weird just 
looking at a screen and talking, not actually talking to someone. It's it's really weird trying to uh, trying to commentate. So um, so I hope you guys go easy on me, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably be uploading uh, some Battlefield Three game, not Battlefield Four, but you know whatever. Um, so yeah, I hope uh, you guys got some good info out of this, and yeah, I'll I'll uh, put this link in the description so you guys can check it out. And uh, uh, please like, subscribe, and like uh, if you want to watch some more uh, Battlefield Four gameplay from me. I'll be uploading a lot of Battlefield Four and uh, things like that when the full game comes out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.